our knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Two eyes, two ears, a mouth and a nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. This time, we can't say shoulders. Head and knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and knees and toes, knees and toes. Two eyes, two ears, a mouth and a nose. Head and knees and toes, knees and toes. This time, we can't say our knees. Head, shoulders and toes and toes. Head, shoulders and toes and toes. Two eyes, two ears, a mouth and a nose. Head, shoulders and toes and toes. This time, we can't say toes. Head, shoulders, knees and knees and. Head, shoulders, knees and knees and. Two eyes, two ears. Shoulders, knees, and knees, and this time we are going to sing the whole song. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Two eyes, two ears, a mouth, and a nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Vicky, so are you dressed up as a vampire or as a witch, huh? You can never choose your costume. Oh my gosh. Are you preparing some pumpkin soup for your guests this Halloween? So if it's not a soup, is that pot a magic potion? So what are the ingredients? You're putting in the skeleton of a rotten fish Ugh, that smells awful. You're an amazing witch. Are you going to add all the red roses to the potion? That's a surprise. Tell me now, what is in those bottles? Are they maybe essence from the fairies? Inside the yellow bottle, there's fairy laughing powder, and in the violet one, tears of the fairies. Wow, that is magic! The whole pot of potion turned into a spooky Halloween cake! Will you share it with all your friends? You've become so much more generous! But then, wait a sec, is the cake that you made in actual fact, got a curse on it? Hey look, your friends have arrived! Welcome you all to Vicky the Witch's Halloween party! She's prepared a magic cake for all of you guys! And now she wants to share it with you all! But guys, I'd think twice before I eat it! This is real witchcraft she's doing, so get ready! Steady, guys, and here we go! The magic potion has done its job! They've all turned into real monsters! Oh my goodness, this is a disaster of a Halloween! But now the problem is we don't know how to turn them back. I think that ABC will have to come up with an antidote. All right, let's think, guys. If the rotten fish was part of the curse, then I would hope that the fresh fish, the opposite, is what we would need to make a good antidote. If a black and withered dead rose has cursed them, then a lovely fresh red rose will save them. If the fairy tears have turned them into monsters, the fairy laughing powder has to turn them into children just celebrating Halloween. So let's make another magic potion right away.
Are they monsters? Or are they the best friends of Mundo Cuckoo? That's great! Now we can celebrate Halloween! <laughs> Hansel and Gretel on Halloween Once upon a time, there was a family that lived in the forest. The mother had her own vegetable patch and the father cooked tasty, healthy meals. They had twins, Hansel and Gretel. The children always looked forward to their meals, but sometimes they got tired of eating so many vegetables. Don't worry, there's dessert. One evening, the mother was worried that her children were always complaining about eating nothing other than fruit and veg. And she had an idea. Look, tomorrow's Halloween. We can send the kids trick-or-treating to the other side of the woods. They will love to eat some sweets. But they might get lost. Time for your mission. Go to the other side of the woods to get some sweets. Take this multi-cereal bread for the way. Thanks, Daddy! And so, the brother and sister went looking for some sweets. As they got deep into the woods, Hansel was leaving breadcrumbs behind to mark the way back home. The breadcrumbs are gone! When night fell and they tried to go back, the breadcrumbs marking the way were gone. Terrified, Hansel and Gretel began to run through the woods in the middle of a storm. The next day, they discovered a house completely made of sweets. It had a chocolate roof, marzipan walls, caramel windows, nougat doors, and a candy path. Or it's delicious. Hmm, I like the window. Are there a couple of squirrels eating my house? My name is Hansel. I am Gretel. Ah, oh, two children. Come on in and I'll make you some breakfast. I want chocolate milk. I want cereals of every color, full of sugar and crunchiness so my tongue looks like a rainbow. Help me get in. I can't see properly. And I'll get you what you want. Chocolate for you. Chocolate for me. Cereals for you. Cereals for me. But the old lady couldn't see properly and made a lot of mistakes while serving them breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a mop to clean this. The old lady was sad because the children mocked her. So she removed her costume. You are a witch? I'm not a witch. I put on this costume so you stop laughing at me. I'm sorry for what we said. We don't know how to go back home. Could you help us? Fill your bags with sweets for the journey. Helping the old lady so she wouldn't fall, they walked and walked looking for their parents until they found them. I thought we had lost you. I was so silly for letting you go. It's okay, Mom. She looked after us. And look at all the treats she gave us. Since the old lady had looked after their children, the parents invited her to their house. And from then on, things changed in the household. Meals had plenty of veg, but there were also delicious desserts. It's important to work as a team and not to judge people based on their appearance. Because you might meet the best cook in the world. 